I like to play fast, cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go, I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those who are new here i go by the african empress and if you're new don't forget to hit that subscription button and hit the notification bell for amazing episodes every week so guys today we're gonna be talking about mental health and i know it's a very sensitive topic to talk about but it's happening and it's so unfortunate that it's happening in places that we least expect because traumas are out there and when you undergoing trauma, it doesn't necessarily mean it's in a toxic environment, but a lot happening in your life. And I thank God, like, he has given me the grace. I've gone through a lot of stuff over the years, and I will tell you one thing. The Bible has been a point of refuge because I have gone through a lot in life, like a lot. And my personality, me showing away from people, it, it just didn't happen out of the blue. I prefer staying alone and just dealing with stuff on a personal level before I tell people what I'm going through. And sometimes God actually helps me through the journey and I don't have to tell people. I struggle it on the inside out and yeah, I have seen God's hand through it. Let me not lie, I have seen God's hand through it. And maybe some people may think that I ignore them in friendships and everything, but Sometimes when you go through a lot of stuff, you'd rather go quiet. For me, it worked for me. I decided to go quiet and yeah, deal with things on my own and with God, of course. Because even some of the stuff that I've gone through, my family members don't have a clue. A clue. There were days where I lost kilos. I, I lost over 15 kilograms. I was that skinny. Because I couldn't tell anybody what I was going through. I couldn't. I don't know how. Okay. One thing. I'm not an expressive person. I'm the kind of person, even though I love you or I like you, I won't even show it as much. But my actions will tell you that I care and all that. But I'm not an expressive person. And you may think that I'm ignorant or arrogant, of which I'm not. I'm the kind of person who is going to be there for you regardless. But just respect my privacy and all that stuff anyway so back to mental health so I've, there's a friend who came to me and told me what they're going through I, I don't know like okay what worked for me may not work for somebody there are some people who prefer talking it out and telling people how they're going through and just speak it out I'm not that kind of a person I don't speak it out I like quietness, quiet places, I like somewhere that I can go and think and all that stuff. I'm not the kind of person who expresses as much, but hey, we are different. We are different. We can't be the same. We just can't be the same. But yeah, so I was wondering how do you deal with your mental stress issues and all that stuff? Because for me, the Bible did it for me. The Bible did it for me. God has been God has worked a lot in my journey and I would be hypocritical if I did not acknowledge that because I remember there was a time I, I called, like I called, then I called where I used to worship or just pastors I know, I called them but they did not pick up, I called radio stations to help me that I did not pick up and it took me years to overcome it but I have seen God's hand and online god has been my strength like my strength and i have stood by his verses and i've stood by his verses in faith in favor and everything in protection and everything god has been my therapy that's it god has been my therapy i don't know about you and i cannot force my religion on someone but for me what worked for me is the word of god and everything that happens under the sun it happened to someone else and what i came to learn about the bible is everything that happens to you it's not new to god and everything that happens in your life it's not new to god it has happened before it happened centuries ago 
life is just a replica of what happened before and god has the solution of everything god is the ultimate solution to everything and don't let the devil fool you because the devil will fool you in so many ways he is the father of all liars and yeah he will come and just interfere with your mental health and everything one thing i usually say if you feel like you want to end it all if you feel like you're giving up always go back to the bible look at god's promises look at what god says about you because the bible is the it's the only manuscript you'll ever have that will guide you in life either in relationship either in work like everything is in the bible and i usually okay this is me everything like relationship friendships work everything that i want to do i refer it i refer first of all i have to go back to god and pray about it talk to god about it and believe me you god always has an answer for you god will always direct you to the right path and regardless of every heart that you face every struggle that you face and you've prayed and you're asking god why did i have to go through this why me like as I usually write in most of my social is every season that you go through in life is a preparation to the next season. Every hurdle that you face is a preparation to the next level that God is taking you. And don't see it as a punishment, see it as an opportunity. Because at the end of the day, opportunity meets preparedness. If you're a Christian, if you're a child of God, you know this world is not ours. It is not ours. And we fight battles every day. Like, if you're alive and you're kicking and everything, you'll have to fight battles every day. And not necessarily that God brings the battle, it's life. And this is not our home in the first place. Our home is in heaven. And as long as we are, we're just here for rent. Yeah, we have a rented life, actually. We have a rented life. And when the time comes for us to go home, we'll go home. When our rent is due, we'll just go home. And that, that's why I usually say trust in God and everything, just know everything that happens under the sun has a purpose and it's for a purpose. And always trust God in the process of everything because God will only be your refuge and your strength. And mental health issues, emotional health, financial issues and everything, take it to the thrones of thrones and you'll always get an answer. It won't come as you expect because let me tell you if you're a christian success doesn't come as if you thought it just doesn't come instant it is a process god will break you god will mold you god will crush you and at the same time god will build you up the people who god did not want in your next season he will just show you and you'll just see their true identity you'll see their true colors and yeah that's how god works and that's how if you want to know your true friends and your real friends, just go on your knees, tell God to show you. And God really shows you. And you'll start seeing your friendships, friends that you thought they are friends, they're not friends. They were there f using you. Like, okay, don't get me wrong. In short, when you ask God to guide you and show you, always be prepared for the unthinkable because God will reveal, will even shock you. People that you thought were there for you, people that you thought they are family, they couldn't hurt you, people that you thought they are friends that they couldn't hurt you, you'll be shocked of what God can reveal with just a simple prayer like, God, show me, give me direction, direct my path, show me my friends, all that stuff. And people think that, most people who see me think, that I'm not shaken with anything. What makes me strong is who I am in the Lord. I know my worth, I know who I am in the Lord and I don't believe anything can shake me. And if anything happens, I know God allowed it to happen to teach me something or to show me something. That's how I take it. I actually say, I always like seeing the cup as half full rather than half empty and rather than blaming i try to learn 
in the process and yeah god has been faithful and this is an answer of somebody who told me about mental health and why i keep being sane with everything that has happened in my life in the past and in the present for me what keeps my sanity and what keeps me healthy mentally regardless of every situation that i face simple it's god it's god and reading the scripture reading the scripture and god that's my secret yeah so i've answered people who ask me that's my secret it's god and the scripture you can never go wrong with the word of god you can never go wrong when you trust god you can never go wrong when you put all your faith in god and all your trust in god god above everything if god is for us who can be against us anyway guys thank you for watching my short youtube video till next time guys have a blessed week and i love you so much peace Tell me how